In this video, I'll show you how to screen record on your iPhone 16 Pro Max with sound and audio. So let's get started. So in order to do screen recording on your iPhone, first thing is we need to go ahead and add this feature. In order to add it, you're going to pull down the control menu here, which will pop up like this. And from there on, you'll see a plus icon here. You click on that plus icon, and from there on, we're going to click on add a control. And once we add a control here, we're going to get all of these options. And you see right here, it's going to say screen recording. So we're going to click on that, and it will be added right here. And then you can just tap anywhere to have that new control added. Now, once we have added that control, we need to now enable or turn on the mic. In order to do that, we're going to press and hold until a menu like this pops up. Again, you just press and hold, and then once that pops up, you'll see there's an option for microphone. We're going to go ahead and tap on that, so it says on, and now basically, we can do screen recording with the mic and the audio sound with it. So, in order to start a screen recording, you simply tap on it, like that it'll do a countdown here, where you can see, and now while it's blinking red, it is now screen recording whatever it sees on the screen, and also the audio that I'm speaking. In order to stop the screen recording, you simply tap on that, click on that, and it'll stop the screen recording, and then save it to Photos. So if you see your Photos app, we'll have that saved options. I'll see here, we will go ahead and see this recording. It is now screen recording, whatever it sees on the screen. And as you can see here, it saved that screen recording right into the Photos after we have done that. Again. All you're going to do is click on add. Add that control to screen recording. And then once you do that, you tap anywhere and then just tap to begin a screen recording and the screen recording will start and then you can tap on to end it. So that's how you do it. If this tutorial was helpful, please let me know in the comments below this video. And for more helpful tutorials, you can check the links in the description.